What is English? What was that word I was going to like? What was that word? Do you ever just like forget a word right before you're gonna say it and then you can't remember that word to save your fucking life? squirrels and welcome the fluff back to my channel. My name is Juniper Rose, just in case you don't know me, and I'm just a crazy little witch in a weird corner of YouTube. So hi, hello, and welcome to the squirrel family. If this is the first video that you have come across, then don't forget to show some love by hitting the subscribe button and join the squirrel family. Additionally, you can find my information for social media, like, um, well, I use Instagram, somewhat often and I rarely ever use Twitter, but I, I have all that linked down below. So don't forget to give me a follow for more witchy, squirrely shenanigans in the near future. So I'm officially here today to inform you all that no, I'm not dead, which is great. So addressing the first elephant in the room, yes, it has been quite a bit of time since I last uploaded a video for you guys, for which I do profusely apologize for. And thank you again for your loving patience, which is beyond anything I could ever hope for. During my YouTube hiatus, I also took a bit of a social media break too, just all due to mental health reasons, which I am not really here to talk about today. Um, I, I just don't want to talk about it right now, so that's, that's that. But um, addressing the second elephant in the room, which is probably slightly more exciting, you may notice that I actually have semi-decent lighting for once. Do I know how to use my brand new lights? Um, sort of. I know how to put them together and turn them on. Do I, do I know the artistry of how to make myself look most ideal and camera ready with said lights? Um, that's highly questionable, so bear with me for the next few videos as I figure out this new lighting situation since it's entirely new territory to me. I guess the next elephant in the room is that my uh, filming setup has changed ever so slightly. Um, I mean, I still have my altar area here, but my boyfriend and I have been working on redecorating and designing our apartment. So things have kind of shifted around a bit and we are still working on a grand majority of it. But once we get done, if you guys would be interested in an apartment tour, also leave a comment down below or go ahead and hit that like button. So yeah, that's basically all of the elephants in the room. Um, there may be a couple squirrels in the room that I have not addressed, but that's that's pretty much the case in every single video. So I'm pretty sure that I can read your mind right now. Oh my god, I'm so excited that Juniper posted a new video. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I'm going to watch a new Juniper Rose video. It's been ages. Oh my god, why is Juniper rambling again? Holy shit, she has the ability to just ramble on about absolutely fucking anything and everything. Oh, wait. I forgot that that's just a normal thing when it comes to Juniper Rose videos. And I'm pretty sure we're quite a few minutes into this video right now and I'm still rambling and I have not even gotten to the topic of today's video, which is actually super exciting. So let's go ahead and jump on into today's topic. If you want to go ahead and grab some coffee, tea, popcorn, hot chocolate, mashed potatoes, french fries, whatever other sort of beverage or snack food that you want to grab, go ahead and grab that, sit back down, and uh, let's just have a fun little video. Except, I don't know, you may not want to sit down for this video because it does involve me crafting and making things, which is actually super exciting. So without any further ado, tea! That warms my soul. 
I cannot tell you how excited I am to be back up on here and filming for you guys with like this new filming setup with suddenly so much time on my hands to just do everything except, uh, well, I'm literally trying to do everything all at the same time that I want to do and I've discovered that it really just leads to a bunch of unfinished things. So, um, well, <laughs> I'm working on it, but... So for today's video, I've got two super cute little witchy craft projects. Haha, <laughs> witchy craft, witchcraft. <laughs> so funny. So if you would like to follow along with me on these crafts and you are missing some or all of the materials required, I will do my very best to link where you can purchase these items online in the description box below. And no, this video is not sponsored by anyone. I mean, I really wish that this was a sponsored video, but like I don't even get paid from Google AdSense. So um, subscribe, that helps. <laughs> So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into today's projects. For this first project, I wanted to make one of those cute crescent moon wreaths that I've been seeing all over Pinterest and Instagram for a couple of years now, and I never really got the opportunity to get around to it. And to be honest, I am sick of staring at that Yule wreath that is still hanging on my front door. Like, really, Juniper? And yes, I will be working on the floor for my projects because it allows me to spread everything else and simultaneously do some interpretive dance as I craft. Anyways, for this project, you will need a wreath base or a coil made out of grapevine, floral wire, wire cutters, scissors, a hot glue gun, twine or ribbon, hemp cord in the color of your choice, and lots and lots of faux greenery and flowers. For my wreath, I found these really cute little cherry blossoms and I thought they would be perfect for spring. Get creative here and pick some colors and flowers that make you happy. Optional items not pictured are quartz or alternative crystal points, and you'll see why later. First things first is to get this grapevine wreath that we will be using for the base into a crescent moon-like shape. Now I very quickly learned that it is next to impossible to cut the grapevines with plain old kitchen scissors, so I employed the use of these bad boys. The smaller wire cutters worked for some of the smaller twiggy bits, and don't come after me for using my nice wire cutters on a bit of sticks, okay? First of all, these were cheap and have held up to plenty of years of abuse. And secondly, well, I have no idea what my second point was. Moving on. As you can see here, I have finally cut through one part of the wreath, and it was just a matter of doing the same thing about a tarot card's length up from the first part. Congratulations, the most time-consuming part of this project is over. I used my hands to stretch out the wreath a bit so it looks more like a crescent moon and less like the sad remains of discarded hopes and dreams of ever being a perfectly circular wreath. Next I took some floral wire and wrapped it around the ends of the wreath to make it nice and secure. Don't worry about how this looks because we will cover it up here in just a bit. Next, we will take some twine and also wrap that around our crescent moon in a few key points to make sure that none of those twiggy parts ever have a chance of escaping. You can wrap the twine around at however many points you feel is necessary for maximum twig security. You want these twigs on lockdown, just like how the coronavirus has us all on lockdown. Once that is complete, we will be wrapping some more of the twine over the ends to cover up the not so aesthetically pleasing bits of floral wire. For this, I applied a glob of hot glue that is about the same amount as a small quartz crystal in the back and proceeded to wrap about a dead rose's length of twine around the wire, making sure to cover up all the wire and simultaneously not burn myself. Now we will take some of that hemp cord I mentioned before and attempt to tie it onto the wreath so that it makes that net dreamcatcher-y look. I learned yet again that this was much easier said than done as the hemp cord kept getting stuck in all of the sticks and twigs, who were quite honestly very mad at me for tying them all up and making a terrible joke out of it. Nevertheless, this was resolved by profusely swearing at the wreath and giving it the bird. Okay, I may have given it the bird more than once.
Once I've won the battle of twids versus hemp cord, I finally got the first part of the netting done. You will want to tie the hemp cord at five points around the wreath as seen here. You will want to make sure the cord is taut. For the next row, I had the string pull a U-turn and proceeded to knot it at the middle of each of the lengths of the first row, as you can see here. I did this back and forth for a bit until I was happy with the way it looked. It may take a bit of trial and error, but don't worry, you will get there soon enough after yelling a few profanities at it. Now comes the fun part. You know all those cute sprigs of greenery and flowers mentioned earlier in the video? Well, now you get to destroy them. How do you ask? Scissors. And brute force. Am I being a bit dramatic? Maybe. Do I feel bad about it? No. You will want to figure out how you want to lay out your bits of greenery and flowers in a way that looks best for you before gluing them down. This will take some playing around with. I found that by layering the greenery down as a base and then laying the flowers over that yielded the most aesthetically pleasing results. After that, I snapped a pic on my phone so that I could remember how it all looked, and then proceeded to attach the greenery and flowers down onto the wreath. I did opt to stick some of the base layers of greenery under the hemp cord before hot gluing them down, but this is entirely optional for you. You may develop the opinion that my methods are entirely overkill and then proceed to ask yourself who in the hell decided that it was a good idea to give Juniper a hot glue gun, but I digress. Now please enjoy this short montage of Juniper hot gluing flowers onto the wreath. Next I took a length of hemp cord about the size of Harry Potter's wand and tied it to the ends about a salt rock's lamp apart to a couple of the bigger grapevine twig things. This will be what you use to hang your new masterpiece onto the wall with. Once that was said and done, I decided to add a citrine point to said masterpiece and wrapped some more hemp cord around it. I made sure that the hemp cord was super secure so that it felt like it was being wrapped inside of a burrito blanket since I opted out of hot gluing it. I then tied it to the top part of the wreath. And here is the final product. I am so happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. This second project is super easy and requires relatively minimal materials. This is a thing you see in just about every witch's household, and if you don't make or acquire one at least at some point in your witchhood, are you even a witch? The thing in question is a pentacle made of sticks. Okay, technically a pentagram if you want to get all technical since it's not encircled. The point is, well, there are five of them, and we are going to make them. Anyways, the items in question that you will need are as follows. Twine or hemp cord, scissors, and a bunch of sticks. You can literally just go outside and find sticks that have fallen off of trees in your backyard. I have collected these from around my apartment complex for the past few months. And please, for the love of squirrels, do not break twigs off of branches from living trees. First things first is to figure out how big you want your star of sticks to be. Second is figuring out which sticks to use. That will be A, the best match, and B, have the right amount of bend so that you can interlock the sticks in a somewhat star-like fashion. Now, up until this point in time, I forgot how much doggies like sticks because Volt and Risu had to come investigate, which led to the subsequent montage of doggies interrupting my attempts to film. But because they are cute, they got away with it. Yet again, I learned the hard way that kitchen scissors just won't cut it. 
haha, <laughs> very punny, and that I needed to use these bad boys to cut my sticks to size. Now, if you are a minor, please ask an adult for assistance. If you are an adult, please ask for an adultier adult. There were no adultier adults to be found in the vicinity, so I took my chances in the name of art. I do recommend cutting more than just five sticks to size, since you may end up needing to switch some of them out to make them fit better, as, spoiler alert, I discovered for myself later on in the video. Anyways, after you have cut several sticks to size and laid them out in a general star-like fashion, as I have done so here, take the first two lengths of hemp cord about the size of an iPhone charger and begin wrapping it around the two sticks at this point. I place the right stick over the left as seen here. Continue on in the same fashion for the remaining points of the star. You may want to work backwards from the order in which I chose to work in since I am a lefty, and for some strange reason the majority of the world is still comprised of righties. Please note that I am not throwing you shade if you are indeed a righty, but I would have figured the odds against lefties would have finally evened out by now, but alas, we may never know. I interlocked the sticks as I went, but once I got down to the last stick, I realized that this was going to be a bit trickier than I had previously anticipated. To no avail, I tried several other sticks, but alas, they were no fit. Even Risu put a sniffer to work in an attempt to find me the best stick. After that, I got distracted because he is indeed the most adorable little wackaba on the planet. Now back to the disappointing sticks. I ended up backtracking by one stick to see if replacing it with a different stick would help me out of my sticky situation. Yeah, um, I'll just go home now. It didn't entirely solve my problem the way that I hoped it would, so I had to compromise the interlocking a bit to get the last stick to fit. Oh well, I guess you can't have everything. You can choose to stop here and declare your Star of Sticks complete. I however decided to wrap the cross sections of said Star of Sticks for extra security. I wrapped each section in an X pattern, as you shall see here. At this point, you may choose to tie a length of cord to your star so that you can hang it up on your wall, but I clearly forgot to do that. And here it is finished. I love how simple and cute it is. Of course, you can always add your own embellishments to it, but let me know what you guys think. Well, my lovely squirrels, that is actually it for today's video, and I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it. This definitely was quite different for me to film and edit and voiceover, but it was definitely an awesome learning experience. I did learn that voiceover Junie is incredibly sarcastic and snarky and, well, honestly, am I surprised at all? No. But anyways, if you did enjoy today's video and you do want to see some more Crafty Witch videos in the near future, then don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button because that would definitely help me out. And if you guys did decide to follow along with me and make these items as well, don't forget to post a picture onto Instagram and tag me in it. I would love to see what you guys come up with and what variations that you guys have. And that is pretty much it for today. I'm so happy to be back and filming for you guys. I do promise that I will be regularly uploading videos again. This time, however, I'm not going to force myself to be on a strict schedule because that kind of ended up being really overwhelming for me. And I did feel like that put a bit of unnecessary pressure on me. And I definitely did not like the quality of the video since it did make me feel a bit rushed. 
So this time around, I would rather focus on quality over quantity. I will make sure to do my very best to let you guys know via Instagram and YouTube when I've got a new video coming out. So if you already are not following me on Instagram, don't forget to do that. Link is in the description, as I mentioned before, and hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stay safe, stay home, wash your dirty little paws, and until next time, this switch is out. Bye! Why is this so hard?